Hello everyone, welcome to Codis Camp. We are at the 14th day of May Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover is flattened binary tree to linked list. So input given here is a root of a binary tree and we have to return the output in the form of linked list. And the rules given here are the linked list should be the same order as the pre-order traversal of the binary tree. And one more thing is we should implement the linked list as a tree node only. We are not having any separate implementation for our linked list and the right nodes will be having the pointers towards the next node and the left node will always have the null. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is our given input binary tree and the rules given here in the problem statement is the linked list should be in the order of pre-order traversal of a binary tree. So pre-order traversal is nothing but traversing the nodes in such an order that root node first, left node next, and then the right node. So here starting from the root node, the first node is going to be the first node we are going to add in our linked list. And then moving down to the left node, and left node is going to be the second node, which is 2. And further, it has its children. So we are going to further visit its left node first, and 3 is going to be the third node. 3 doesn't have any children, so moving on to 4, 4 is the right node. And then once all this is done, we backtrack to the right node of the actual root node. So in this case, 5 comes next and 5 doesn't have any left children. So 6 is going to be the last node we visit. So the pre-order traversal of this binary tree is going to be in this order, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now it is said that we have to implement our linked list in the same tree node implementation. We don't have separate implementation for linked list. So usually what we will do, we will add a node and its next node would be 2 and next node would be 3 till the last node is going to be null. But in this case, we have to implement it with left and right pointers because tree nodes have left and right children. So first we are going to add a root node to linked list and its right child would be 2. That is next node in the pre-order traversal. And then further its children will be again the right child of its children's. Same way all the left node will be null. So now how are we going to approach this? So here we are going to perform a basic DFS pre-order traversal algorithm. And once we are performing, we are going to take the pre-order traversal of a binary tree and add its children to the right side of the node. And the left child is going to be null. So if you understand how to perform a pre-order traversal or a DFS algorithm, the solution is going to be very, very easy. So if you understand how DFS work already, you can directly jump to coding part. If not, we are going to see how DFS work step by step. So to perform DFS, we always need a stack. So here we are going to implement a iterative DFS technique. So starting from the first node, we are going to push the first node or root node to our stack. So now our stack is ready with our root node. Now we are going to pop this node and add it to our linked list. Now let's pop one and add it to our linked list. Now it is added. So we are going to perform pre-order traversal. So pre-order traversal needs to visit its left node first and then move to the right node. So in this case, our stack performs the reverse process. That is whatever we push inside last will be picked first. So in that case, we need our two next, which is our left node. So we are going to push the right node first and then the left node. So I am going to push 5 first and then 2 which is nothing but the right node first and then the left node. So now 2 is at the top of the. So now it's time to explore the children of the topmost element or the node in the stack. So before exploring its children we are going to add that to our linked list. So now our root node is 1. Its right child is going to be 2 and its left child is going to be null. So once 2 is added to our linked list, we are going to pop that from our stack and explore its children. So 2's children are 3 and 4. As usual, we are going to push 4 first, that is the right node first, and then the left node. So now I'm going to push 4 and then 3. So now 3 is the top element in our stack. So we are going to add that to our linked list and make the left child of 2 to null and then pop 3. So now explore three's children. So three doesn't have any children. So we are going to skip and move to the next element at the top of the stack. So the next element at the top of the stack is going to be four. Four also doesn't have any children. 
So we simply add it to our linked list, make the left child of 3 to null and pop it from our stack. Now 4 is also done. The next top element in our stack is going to be 5. So add 5 to our linked list and make 4's left child to null. So now it's time to explore 5's children. So I'm going to pop it from my stack and explore its children. 5 doesn't have any left child and it has one right child which is 6. We are going to push that first into our stack. So now it is the top of the stack. So it's time to add it to our linked list. As it is the top element, we are going to add it to the right child and make 5's left child null. So it's time to pop 6 and explore its children and 6 doesn't have any children. So here our iteration ends. As our stack is empty, we don't have any other nodes to add to our linked list. And now our linked list is ready with the pre-ordered traversal of our binary tree. So hope you are understanding this solution. This is going to work in big O of n time and n space because we are going to iterate the binary tree nodes only once and we are going to use a stack which is going to take another big O of n space for space complexity. So let's go to code now. So first I'm going to check if the tree is empty. Then return nothing. So as I said, I'm going to declare a stack which is going to contain the tree node. And first we are going to push our root node to our stack. And we are going to iterate till our stack becomes empty. And first we are going to pop the root node from our stack. So once we popped a node, we have added its right child first to the stack and then the left child. So we are checking if our stack is not empty, then we add it to our linked list. So we have added the top node to the right child of the uh, root node. So in this case, our left child is going to be none. So yes, this is it. Every time it is going to pop the node, add its right and left child and add it to the linked list. So let's run and try. So let's submit. And yes, the solution is accepted. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and this algorithm runs in one millisecond. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.